Good morning class. Today we shall be learning about development in economics of a first chapter. If you notice, there is a sapling which we have planted, nurtured and let it develop. This is one notion of development. In this unit, we are going to learn about development and its goals, income and other goals, public facilities and development, the concept of national development as well as comparing countries on the basis of their development, income and other criterion to compare nations, the criterion given by the World Bank and the UNDP to compare nations, as well as we shall be studying about sustainable development. However, in this particular lesson, we shall first deal with development. So when you understand development, it basically means progress and it has always been with us. It has not come overnight all of a sudden from somewhere. We have aspirations or desires about what we would like to do and how we would like to live. Today, if I tell you that uh, there is a lockdown, but you have to come to school, you obviously would not want to come to school. Or if I tell you that, okay, you are not allowed to use the phone or the computer or the laptop or listen to music while you're at home, you're not going to like it. You have your aspirations and desires about how you want to lead your life. And that's exactly what you want to do. Similarly, we have ideas about what a country should be like. What are the essential things that we require? Can life be better for all? How should people live together? Can there be more equality? Development involves thinking about these questions and about the ways in which we can work towards achieving these goals. It is a complex task and in this chapter we shall make a beginning at understanding development. However, when we talk about development, we will consider it not only from an economic perspective, but we shall look at it from the historical, political science, social, religious, natural, geographical, all in one perspective. When we move to aspirations, I told you developmental goals are basically aspirations or notions for development. You want a car? The way your country is set up, all you can hope for is maybe to one day own a rickshaw you pull. Why? Because one rich country is telling this to a poor country. That's a cartoon on page 2 in your textbook. That your country is run in such a way that you may probably never, able, never be able to become rich. So the events or changes through which people perceive development are called aspirations or notions for development, what we call developmental goals. So let us quickly take a recap of what we have done till now. We've talked about the features of development. Development is a process of change. It leads to the betterment of standard of living of people. Different people aspire development in different ways as per their conditions of life. Different people may have different goals for development. Development for one may be destruction for someone else which may be a conflicting goal. Now we're going to discuss both the third and the fourth point in detail. So if you look at table 1.1 in your textbook, table 1.1 in your textbook, the landless rural laborer wants more days of work, obviously he wants employment, 
He wants better wages. He wants a school to provide education to his children. He wants lack of discrimination. He also wants to have rights to become leader in the village. At the same time, if you scroll down in your textbook and look down, there's a girl from a rich urban family in the urban uh, city. Her developmental goals are completely different. She wants to look beautiful. She wants to be treated like her brother. She wants equal freedom. She wants the brother to share the housework that she is doing. She wants to pursue her career abroad. She wants to decide what is good for her in life, just like her brother is doing. So these were some of the examples which even the textbook is providing you with. However, when you still think about other goals, I shall come to them before we touch upon point four. Uh, there are uh, blanks given in your textbook in table 1.1. So they want you to fill those blanks with uh, developmental goals. So farmers who depend only on rain for growing crops, what could their developmental goals be? You will write it down in the textbook where there is space provided. A rural woman from a land-owning family, what would her developmental goals be? That again you will fill in your textbook in the space provided. The urban unemployed youth, the developmental goals of this urban unemployed youth. You need to fill that up in the textbook. A boy from a rich urban family, what would his developmental goals be? You need to fill that up. And an Adivasi from the Narmada Valley, you need to fill the Adivasi's developmental goal as well. So it's only after you have filled these up and that too very, very quickly. Like I give you a few seconds to do that in your textbook. Alright, so having filled most of table 1.1, let us examine it. Do all these persons have the same notion of development or progress? I'm sure you said most likely not. Each of them seek different things, like how I have been telling you. Different people aspire for different goals, different developmental notions. They seek things that are most important for them, that which can fulfill their aspirations or desires. In fact, at times, two persons or groups of people may seek things which are conflicting. For example, a girl expects as much freedom and opportunity as her brother and that he also shares the household work. But the brother may not like this. Similarly, to get more electricity, industrialists may want more dams. But this may submerge the land and disrupt the lives of people who are displaced. Like the tribals or the Adivasis. They might resent this and may prefer small check dams or tanks to irrigate their land. So two things are quite clear. Point number one. Different people can have different developmental goals. And point two, what may be development for one may not necessarily be development for the other. It may be destructive for the other. So that is a conflicting developmental goal which I was talking to you about point 
four. Now, why do different people have different developmental goals? Number one, they have age difference. So a student may want a better grade in an examination while a retired IPS may want to get a part-time job to pass his time. Sex difference. The boy may want to be muscular and strong and handsome, but a girl may want to be fair and beautiful. Education. An educated person may want to consult a doctor and take medicine, but an in uneducated may worship a nature god for relief when he or she falls sick. So why developmental goals differ from people to people? It could also be the condition of life that people live in. People in a colony might think their condition will be better if they get autonomy, whereas people of an independent economy may want more effective and efficient government. Belief and values. Those who believe that COVID is a virus may want to stop its spread through social distancing. On the other hand, some others believe that it is an agent sent by God to kill the evil and encourage their spread. So people have different values. Besides that, experience, social status, income, etc. are different aspirations for developmental goals. Conflicting goals that we spoke about, developmental goals not only have different uh, goals from person to person, they can be conflicting. A change which is considered as a development by one may not necessarily result in development for all. Development for someone may cause destruction for another. For example, an industrialist wanting to set up a dam or more dams, it may result in submergence of the land of the tribals, leading to protest and resentment. Another example, banning of production and use of one-time use plastic products is appreciated by a larger section of the society and it is considered as very important for the development or conservation of the ecosystem. But this banning is a destruction for the owners and workers of industries who produce such products. Now income is the main goal. It is needed to satisfy the basic needs of life, food, clothing and shelter. Income provides access of better healthcare and education facilities Higher the income means better the status in society. Income of the present provides financial security for the future. Income is needed to maintain social relationship. So when we talk of in, uh, the goals that were common in the table 1.1, we realize everybody wants a better standard of living. And how is the better standard of living going to come? Money. Money is what is common across everywhere. Now, income is the main goal for development, but only income cannot give a desirable standard of living. A book can be purchased, but knowledge cannot. Similarly, a bed can be purchased, but not a sound sleep. Therefore, people want to achieve a range of goals or a mixed set of goals at a time to get a better standard of living. So if you're with me and if we are together on, I think it's page three or four, page four of your text, then besides income, people want freedom or they want better treatment they want respect, they resent discrimination. These are other important goals besides income. And money is a very, very important uh, goal that people want. But money or material things that one can buy with is only one factor that life depends on. If you notice uh, past uh, X number of years uh, CBSC papers, 
you will always find this one question in it money in your hand cannot buy you everything so obviously money in your hand cannot buy you knowledge it can buy you education but it can't buy you knowledge it can buy you a bed but sleeping on the bed whether you will sleep well is not what money can bring it can't buy you friends it will have you lots of friends you will know like a swarm of bees you will be a center of attraction if you have money but the true friend will not be with money respect courtesy honesty all the values that we have is something that doesn't come with money so as your homework you're going to make a list of things that money cannot buy but are essential goals that we need to live a better standard of living things list the things that money cannot buy but we need them to achieve or live a better standard of living you can't ignore those goals so i have a list here in front of you but you're also going to create your own list the goals people want to achieve like income good health education pollution free environment good companions family love affection peaceful society good governance sense of security equal treatment in society now these are very very few and limited examples your examples have to cross my list and go beyond and the last thing we're going to talk about today is national development the development or changes that lead to a better standard of living to a major major section of the population is called uh, without harming the interest of the minority that is called national development so in other words it is the sum of development of the people living in the country it is very important to keep in mind that different people could have different as well as conflicting notions of development in a country but all the ideas can be considered equally important or if there are conflicts how does one decide what would be fair and just path for all we have to think whether there is a better way of doing things would the idea benefit a large number of people or only a small group national development means thinking about these ideas so uh, i am going to give you two more things for homework on page 6 in your textbook there's a nice purple box let's work these out okay page 6 of your textbook there's a nice purple box saying let's work these out there are four questions this you have to do in your notebook on page 7 in your textbook there's another let's work these out which again you're going to do in your notebook and then there is activity 1 which says if even the idea of what constitutes development can be varied and conflicting that certainly there can be differences about ways of developing if you know of any such controversy try to find out arguments advanced by different people so you may talk to different people or you may find it from newspaper clippings now these days we don't get newspapers home but google baba ki jai and you may have watch television you may watch the national debates and then you may take the clippings from everywhere possible so your notebook can be filled with that activity so next time that i meet you 
I'd like to see you having done activity on page 7. You will also have done the let's work these out on page 6 and page 7. You will have answered the previous questions that I have given you. So until we meet again, thank you. Goodbye.